Hey, how's it going guys? Keep Shark here and welcome to a little bit of a vlog. It's been a while since I've done one of these and I'm actually going to be talking about a topic today. So it's basically like my Call of Duty videos without the Call of Duty because I just thought we should talk one-on-one -on -one a little bit. Now I know this past year while I've been in school and then the past few months leading up to now that I've been out of school for summer holidays, I've been always mentioning this year called transition year that I was currently in in school. I always said that I'd make a video explaining specifically just what this year is about. So I'm going to kind of use this video to explain to you guys what it's about as well as talking about other school related topics. So basically what transition year is, it's an optional year in Irish schools. So you can choose to do it if you want to or not. In America, I think your last year of high school before you go into college is 12th grade. So if we didn't have transition year, if I didn't do transition year, I'd be in 12th grade for you Americans or in leaving cert for Irish people. So I actually chose to do this year because originally I didn't actually want to do it because in my mind, it was just kind of a waste of year, a waste of money. But in the end, last minute, I ended up changing my mind because I thought like, how bad would it suck going into this year of people that I just don't know? So so I chose to do it and basically what this year is about like I said it's optional you choose to do it or not you pay money and then with this money you get to do a bunch of trips throughout the year and like it kind of says in the title transition year you really do transition as a person like you kind of go from I guess a child to an adult it's insane this past year I've matured more in this one year than I have in my entire life. Everything happened and now I'm just so much more mature and developed as a person both physically and mentally than I was a year ago. I know it sounds weird, I hate school more than I guarantee more than any of you guys watching, but this past year has just been the best year of my life because I got to just do so much stuff with my friends and I experienced so much new stuff and I just did so much stuff that I wouldn't normally do over the past year that I did this year. We went to this kind of like activity center thing. We went to a bunch of colleges because also since, you know, the transition year thing, the whole thing like that, it's kind of help you figure out what you want to do as well when you're in college and when you're older. We had this new class called careers where we basically just talked about careers and went over stuff about ourselves that would help us better find what we want to do when we're older. We went to a science fair, which was was pretty cool me and two of my friends we set up our own project and actually I have the project over there I decided to keep it because I was the one who made the poster for it so this is what we made and actually like it's a heap of crap and I made it in about half an hour at around like 12 o'clock at night the night before we went this is so bad look at it everyone did theirs so well with like glue and stuff I just put this together in a panic the night before but I'm still gonna keep it because just the memories you know it's great Actually, it's funny because that science fair was one of the more boring things we did that year, but it's still looking back and it was pretty fun because what we did was we just set up our stall, we listened to music, and then we just gave our project presentation. And the whole year is chill, like all the teachers, they're just so nice to you. Even the ones that aren't normally nice to you are nice to you just because they're so chill. They know the year is just kind of about having fun. So if any of you guys are thinking about doing it, I know it's probably too late for you to change. If any of you guys are gonna be coming up to that point next year or the year after, definitely do transition year if your friends are doing it. Then again, it's up to you, who cares? But for me, honestly, best year of my life, even though it was school. All the things that I got to experience that I wouldn't do. It's cool to think that even though there might have been some things that I didn't like or didn't want to do, it's cool that I did them because at least I did do them. I never really thought I had a fear of heights, but at the start of the year in the activity center, there was this weird thing where you had to climb up really high and I did not want to do it, but I pushed myself and I managed to get to the top of it, which is something not a lot of people in my class did. A lot of people did it. A lot of people did it quicker than me. I managed to get to the top of it on something I didn't want to do. I climbed a huge thing. Thing. Obviously, I'm safe, but you know, I just didn't want to do it, but I still did it. I conquered it I'm not really one to live my life in a cheesy way But if there was a saying that I was to live my life by 25 years from now You're gonna be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do than the things that you did do So you just gotta love enjoy and live life every day. You can't be wishing your days away I know a lot of people in school they go back to school the first thing they think about Oh, I can't wait for the midterm after that. I can't wait for Christmas after that I can't wait for Easter after that I can't wait for summer the year's gone and when you look back on it it's kind of funny you look back on it and you think god damn the year just flew by you think the year flew by and in your mind you're like yeah that's awesome just got through a year of school but then really think about it really think about the fact that the year just flew by just like that are you really happy that that year of your life just slipped away so quickly and you just wished it away no because i know even though i really hate school 
Looking back on it, there's some great memories I have in school, and I really wish sometimes I just decided to enjoy them more than kind of wishing it away, wishing for the next holiday to come. You gotta enjoy it, you gotta take care of your education as well, you know, that's important. As much as nobody wants to do that, you can't end up going into college and just being completely screwed over. But I have a huge fear of public speaking. That's probably one of my biggest fears. Just I'm not sure if I would say that I have social anxiety, but I just hate socializing. I hate public speaking. Obviously, I still like hanging out with my friends that I've been hanging out with for years. And this year, even though I might not like talking to people, I force myself to be confident, I force myself to talk to them, and it actually boosts your morale. If you just fake confidence, if you are not feeling confident whatsoever on the inside, but you fake it while talking to someone that you don't want to talk to because of anxiety or anything, that will actually boost your morale, that will give you confidence, because then they think you know what you're on about. It's the same with just talking to people you don't want to talk to, talking to girls if you're nervous around girls, like just like me. In my first two years of going to secondary school or high school I guess, I could not talk to girls. If they turned around and asked me a question, I'd answer it, but I'd be so timid. But then I just all of a sudden clicked in my mind. I gotta be like, I just thought that, you know, I gotta fake this confidence. It worked. I fake confidence, like rather it being talking to girls, rather I like them or not, it's just I'm nervous around them, I'm awkward like that. Or rather it's just talking to people that I don't want to talk to because of social anxiety, I force myself to have confidence and that works, I actually do feel more confident. We had a graduation, all our parents turned up and we all had to write our own speech and read it in front of everybody. I actually wrote mine on the science fair that I was talking about earlier, I didn't want to do it, you know, I had a really bad fear, I thought I was going to mess up, just something was going to happen. But I did it. I did it and I felt so great afterwards for being able to accomplish something like that when I have such a fear of public speaking. School does for some people mean facing a fear of socializing or just facing a fear of going into school. But if you can just take away what I said, it's just some things that I thought I really wanted to get out to you guys since a lot of you guys have gone back to school, are gonna be going back to school. Tomorrow, Monday is my first day in school. That's pretty much the video. That's all I wanted to talk about. It was a lot. I've been talking for about a half an hour now. So it's gonna take me a while to cut up this video, but hopefully you did learn something from it. Again, uh, let me know down below in the comment section if you've already gone back to school or if you're gonna be going back to school or when you're going back to school. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.